video we're going to focus on production efficiency and production efficiency is when we produce goods and services at the lowest possible cost and it, it also occurs when we cannot produce more of one good without producing less of another and we will talk more about that uh, which is called trade-offs in uh, the next video but for this video I want to focus on production efficiency so any point on the PPF curve is production efficient. So you can see this blue line here. That's our PPF curve, right? I taught you that in the last video. But just a reminder, let's just label it again. This is our PPF curve. So any point on the PPF curve is production efficient. So you see all these red, uh, red dots? Well, they're on the PPF curve, so they're production efficient. But points inside the PPF curve, for example, this Z, where, where we produce 10 energy bars and, uh, and 100 uh, or one, uh, 1 million burgers, 10 million energy bars, 1 million burgers, is inefficient because it is possible to produce more of one good without producing less of the other good. By that, I mean we can increase our um, increase our production to let's say 15 million bars and 2 million burgers and that and that is when we are producing more of both goods without uh, producing less of any less of the other good. So that's when it's production inefficient. So yeah, production is inefficient at, at points inside the PPF. We are given we are giving up more than necessary of one good. Uh, to produce a given quantity of the other good and at such a point it is possible to produce more of one good without producing any less of the other good and only when we produce on the PPF curve do we incur the lowest possible cost so when we're on actually on the lowest on the curve that is when we're producing at the lowest possible cost now production is inefficient inside the PPF because resources are either uh, unused or misallocated or they could be both. Now, uh, resources are unused when they are idle, but they could be working. So that's the definition of unused resources. They're resources that are idle, just standing around, but they could be working. Misallocated resources are resources assigned to tasks for which they are not the best match. So. Um, an example of this, I guess, would be uh, the policeman, the policeman trying to put out a fire that is meant for a fireman's job. Now, the policeman is meant to catch criminals, so they're not really uh, the best resources to assign to putting out a fire, which is meant for a fireman, and that's a misallocated resource. Unused resources, uh, well, you can look around on Google and you might see pictures of like uh, one person digging a hole and 25 people just watching. Well, that those 25 people are idle, but they can be working, so they're unused resources. And I guess this is where um, I'll stop the video. If you haven't already, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video where, where we'll be talking more about trade-offs along the uh, PPF. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.